Hi, George here. And today we're going to be using selection tools to create a layer mask to remove the background from this picture. And we'll then swap that out for this nice new background, which I think she'll enjoy a lot more. Okay, let's go ahead. We'll see how this is all done. The first thing I'll do is simply to remove these layers that I made here for the sample. There we go. And here is the original. Now we want to create a layer mask in here for this. But what I always do on any project like this is to first make a duplicate of the background layer just as a safety. So we'll go over here, it says background, right click and duplicate. There's my duplicate. We'll just hide this one. So we now have that as a safety, just in case things go wrong, we can always come back to this original layer. Now you can use any tool you want to, to make your selection on this. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit here. And we'll try the magnetic lasso. Go over here to the lasso tool. Freehand selection right here. And then up at the top here, we have the freehand, polygonal, and magnetic. We'll go ahead, we'll give the magnetic a try. I have feathering here set at zero. And I'll come in and click a start position right there. And then we'll come in here and we'll just begin to draw like this. Now on any kind of selection like this, we'll have to go in and do a little bit of cleanup when we get to the layer mask, that's perfectly fine. I expect that to happen. But just come along and let's just make a nice selection. Now with the magnetic lasso here, Affinity Photo will follow along the lines. It looks for separations in color and contrast. We have both of those on this photo, so this should work out fairly well for us. Now, if you get to a spot like this where you're running off your picture, just hold the space bar down. You can then push the picture around and then continue on moving. I'm not holding down the mouse button. Once you get this started, you can look with the mouse button. It will then just follow along, which makes it fairly easy to do. It's not getting the shadow underneath on that foot, but we'll see how that does. It may come back in when this thing is finalized. And we can always go back and clean that up at the layer mask anyway. And at the bottom of just right along the bottom, you have to be just inside. And we'll then follow the bottom edge nicely. There we go. And again, space bar to move the image over. And then we'll go back up on this side. On those corners, we'll fix those corners as we get back to the next stage on this. But this takes care of most of this. It will then just be some cleanup instead of having to do this really careful job of hand selecting all of these points. And we'll work around here on the hair. We'll refine the edge of that selection for the hair, which will improve that. And back to our beginning point, double click, and there's the selection. Now we missed some stuff down over here. We'll fix that. I want to refine the hair over here, of course. And on this section, it's a little bit of the pier right here. I don't want to have that bit of a pier here. We need to pull in the heel and the bottom of the foot over here. So a few things to fix over in there. And there's a spot over here that we need to remove from our selection. Let's just see how the bottom section looks. It looks fine. And a bit of a corner right here. Okay, let's start at the top and work our way down. That's all fine, but I want to fix this bit of hair in here. Let's just add this into our selection right here. And for that, so we'll choose the polygonal lasso tool here and let's go over here to add on our mode. And then come just inside the selection and let's come around and add in this little bit of hair here. There we go, get that. And then back to the beginning again, adds that in. Let's see what else we need to add in. I'll just pull this down, hold the space bar down and then pull the image around. Let's get this corner down here, same thing. To stay inside and there's that. Left hand side over here, this all looks fine. Now I need to fix this foot over here. I'm gonna zoom in just a bit more on the foot. You see what happened here, the magnetic lasso missed the shadow part of the foot, but that's okay, we can fix that. We're still here on polygonal and add. You know, come inside the toe here and let's get that bottom part of the toe right there. And then we'll work around and bring in that shadow bit. When you're doing this kind of an additional selection with the polygonal tool, make sure you put your dots close together, fairly close together, so you get a relatively smooth edge on this. And let's work down around like this. There we go. And don't click too fast or it could just collapse your selection, which you don't want to have happen. You didn't have to redo or back up on that. 
Okay, take it back up into here. And then back around to the beginning again, which is that blue dot. There we go. And a little bit right here I want to remove. So switch over here to subtract on the mode. And then we'll come in and let's just get that bit right in there. Takes that out. Hold the space bar down. And one more spot to remove. And that's this bit right inside of here. Same thing. Just come in and make your first point. That's that blue dot. And then put your points close together. Gives you the smoothest curve in here. And then come straight down this edge here. That's perfectly straight so I can do those further apart. And when you're doing this on an edge, there's a bit of a slight gradient on that where it's going from the foreground to the background. You want to be right in the middle of that slight gradient to get the best effect on your selection. Okay, and then back up to the original point. And there we go. That should fix that. Let's now check the hand down here. I need to add in a little bit right in here. So go back to the add mode. And again, starting inside, and let's just come around that nail right here, and that finger, which is right there, and then back around to our starting point, and that brings that in. All right, to control zero to fit screen, and a little bit right down here, I want to get as well. I want to take that off, so let's just zoom in on that right there, back to that same tool. I want to remove that, so let's go to subtract. And then let's just, just come right along the edge of the leg right here. And then around the outside. And remove that a little bit. It's a little bit off. Let's just try to clean that up and do a little better selection right in there. There we go. Okay, that's fine. Back to control zero again. That looks good. Now I want to clean up the edge of the hair over in here. Let's zoom in on that. And for this, we're going to be refining our edge. So let's make sure we're on any selection tool. I'll go back to the one that we were just using. Go up here to refine. And then Affinity Photo goes through and does a refined edge pass on the whole image, which will take care of all of our other edges. And we'll come in here. We can then clean this up right in here. Now your brush size is right here. I'm going to bring this down a bit. That's better. I'm just going to brush right along the edges here of the hair. Just make sure we get that hair as nicely done as possible. Hold the space bar down to move the image. And get this edge right in here. And get that right in there. And that should do a good job. Okay, once you're finished, we're going to output this to a new layer with layer mask. Choose apply. There we go. And here's a new layer with the layer mask. And it looks pretty good. There's maybe a little bit of dark line right up in here, just a touch. It's a bit of, of some messy stuff right in here. We can fix that. A little bit of an edge in here. Not much. I think we're fine on our edges pretty much. Looks good. That still came back in again. I'll need to fix that. So let's do those fixes on the layer mask. So up here on our mask layer right here, there's the mask. Let's make sure we're on the mask itself. Here we go. And let's zoom back in on that. There it is. And back to our paintbrush. And then brush right onto that layer mask with black paint. And we can remove anything in here. Now it's a bit see-through right here. So I'm going to reverse my colors to white. And I'll come back in and paint right in there with the white color. And that firms up that layer mask. And then back over to black again to clean up some of that weird stuff outside. Hold the space bar down. Let's just walk it around. We'll look good up here. Let's check this side. A little bit right in here needs to be cleaned up. There's some odd stuff happening in there. Again, the space bar. A little bit right here. And there's a spot right there. Clean those out. And a little bit right in there. And we'll just walk around and check all these edges. Now, this is really kind of messed up right down in here. So let's check our settings. And I want to have my brush size smaller. So again, square bracket, left square bracket on that one. And I'm going to set the hardness up harder because they were in closer. Oh, but 67, maybe 70% on that. The flow is at 50%. That's good. 
Let's set this back to white as our foreground color. And I can now come in and strengthen up that layer mask right in there. Reverse our colors and then take out the part that we don't want. And that looks pretty good right there. I think we've got it. There we go. And a little bit right in here, just kind of a grayness showing right there. Get that fixed. That's good. Okay, along this edge, there's a few things showing up. I'm still on that black on the layer mask, so we can come in and paint these out. There we go. Get that taken care of. Spacebar and over to this side. A couple of things right in here. Now I have this again at 50% flow, so just one click won't be enough. It'll take a couple of brushes like that to completely get rid of that stuff. There you go. It's pretty messy in here right around that foot. So we'll just come in and carefully paint that out. And I'm on the layer mask side. And the reason for that is that Affinity Photo is having a hard time seeing where things are because it's a dark shadowed foot against a dark water background. Does the best it can, but it's a little bit messy in there. But that's okay. Easy to clean up. There we go. I think a little smaller up here. Again, left square bracket. I can get in that corner right there. And this just reverse our colors again and come right in across the top right like that okay that's good space bar again and we'll go back to finishing our cleanup along the bottom edge and again i'm missing that shadow that i want to see so let's make sure we're catching the bottom of the foot which is right in here someplace there it is if this happens and you lose something it's it's oftentimes better to come in and like right here, put in a bit too much so you can see where the actual edge is, which is right in there. And then come back again with the other, with the black, switch our colors, and then bring it back in up against that edge. So kind of a two-step process there. So make sure you see enough to see your edge and then come back in and clean that up. And that looks pretty good. And up in here, get some of this background stuff cleaned out. That's not needed. There we go, space bar again. And let's go around the whole picture and clean up any little messes in here from that layer mask. But I think overall, we're pretty good on this one. There's this bit right here I want to take out. There we go, the refine edge brought that back in again. A little bit of a dark halo or fringe right here, just a very, very small amount. And I'll just carefully come in and knock that out just, just like that. There we go. And we look okay up along this edge up here. A little bit right down here. And we're just about back to the beginning again. There we go. And doing all this area here relatively quickly because it's not as critical. The critical part is going to be the hair, which we've already taken care of, and the face. People pay close attention to faces, so this is where if you're going to be spending any time, spend it around the face and get that as carefully done as possible since that's where people's attention is going to be. There we go. Just kind of cleaning that up. Just a bit, and I think we're actually okay. I see a little bit of a clearness right here, so I'm going to switch over to white, and let's get that bit fixed in here. That's good. Back over to black, just a little bit of a touch up right in there. And the reason why this is so important to make sure we don't have a little bit of black showing on that edge is because we're from a dark background going to a light background, and whenever that happens, you're going to be seeing anything along that edge. So a good idea to spend a little bit of time making sure that that's all cleaned up properly. Okay, and I think that's good. I think we have our layer mask is done now. Control zero back to fit screen. And let's see how well we did. 
So you need to bring in the next picture. First, make sure as you're working to go ahead and save. I have a hot button on my mouse for save. So you're not seeing how often I actually save this as I'm working, but make sure you're coming in and saving frequently just in case things get messed up. And let's open up our new picture now. And I have that right here. And just take this, grab the title bar, drag it down so it's a floating window. We can now grab the background from that over here and drag it into this picture and then close it out. So we now have this in our new image here. Now let's go up to that background right here, the background layer. I want to pull that underneath where it says mask. There we go. So it's now the layer below that. And there's a little locking icon over here. You can see it better right there. There it is. Click on that to unlock that layer. So you move that around. Now it's a bit too small. I need to line up this boardwalk here with the boardwalk in front. And notice it doesn't really fit correctly. It's a little bit too small. So I'm going to zoom out a bit up here. There we go. We should now be able to see our handles. And there they are. And then I'll resize this until we can get the size correct on that walkway and still have it fit inside of the picture. There we go. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up this line here visually left-hand side, and then I'm pulling it up in the upper right-hand corner to make it larger until the right-hand side lines up. And that's pretty good right in there. Now it's going a little bit off to the right. It's kind of going up this direction here, and then that's going just off just a little bit there. I want to pull my picture over just a hair to improve that lineup. And for that, we're going to come down here. Let's make sure we're on the right layer. There we go. And come down to the Mesh Warp and Perspective tool in here. Let's show our grid. And then I'll grab the upper left-hand corner. I'm just going to pull this over just a bit like that, just straight to the left. I'm just trying to move the top of this a little bit to the left in here. Doesn't take much. Just about right there. Gets things lined up better. Choose Apply. And then we now have a better lineup on those edges. Now, in putting this one in behind, I'm seeing a little bit of it right down here, kind of poking in from behind. So let's zoom in on that. And we can take this out with the clone stamp tool, which is right over here. And that size is okay. And I'll come in, I'll just use the Alt key right here, grab some of this sandbag stuff, and I'll put it right on top of there. Now it's in behind that pier from the other photo. So I can just go right against the edge here, and it just disappears. There we go. And that's perfect. Control zero back to fit again. Last little thing I want to do in here. Notice how the front of our boardwalk area here is just a little bit bluer than the back is. It's not much. It's real subtle. It's just a little bit, but I want to get this closer to that. So that's our top layer up here. And we're going to do a color shift on this one. And I'll do that with an adjustment layer. I'll go up here to layer, come down to new adjustment layer. And we'll just do a curves right here. And let's set our curves to blue. Here's our blue curve. And I'll just grab the blue curve up in here someplace just a bit. And I'll pull it straight down to remove some of that blue. Just a little bit. And it looks like right about there is pretty darn close to what I need. You can double check that. Just over here and let's show and hide that. So there is without. It's all bluer. There's with. And that's fixed. Now. One problem on this is that it's doing the whole picture, so I want to make sure that this is clipped in here. So right-click on this layer and come down to Mask to Below. And that then applies it just to that one pixel layer right here. Okay, see how we did? It's a lot bluer, and this warmed up just a little bit. I think it's a bit too green right now, so let's adjust that. Click on the icon itself. Let's come back down to the blues. Here's our blue adjustment. And let's just tweak. I want a little bit more red. That's too yellow here. It's too blue there. I want a bit more red on that. And I'm thinking right down around in here, some places, just about the best we're going to get. And there we go. There's our finished picture. Now, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button, click on share, click on subscribe. And if you want to learn more about how to use Affinity Photo, Take a look at my complete training course for Affinity Photo. There's a link for that right down there in the description. And I'll see you next time.